All right, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be doing the top 10 sneakers of 2017. Now this is only our opinion. Uh, this is not the all out top 10 pairs 2017. It's also not gonna be in any specific order. We're just gonna do a list of one to 10 um, that we liked. All right, for our first shoe on our list, we have the Nike Craft and Tom Sachs collab Mars Yard 2. So this is the second time Nike and Tom Sachs have collabed. They collabed in 2012 with the uh, Mars Yard 1.0, so this is the 2.0. All right, so the shoe was released at the Tom Sachs and Nike Space Camp. Uh, to get the shoes, you had to do an obstacle course, and once you completed the obstacle course, you got the shoes. So if you didn't get the shoes at the Space Camp, um, they retailed for 200, but they're extremely limited, so barely anyone got a pair. So in the 2017 2.0, they have a nice breathable upper, nice and lightweight, um, and then the outsole was nice and um, bouncy and comfortable as well. According to StockX, resale on these is about 1200 to 1500 I've seen most pairs go for like 1100 So for our first shoe, Tom Sachs, Nike Craft, Mars Air 2.0. The next shoe on our list is the Balenciaga Triple S. These shoes featured a triple stacked sole and uh, distressed details all throughout the shoe. And what I mean by the triple stacked sole is they took the sole from a running shoe, a track shoe, and a basketball shoe to create that layered effect. And the rope laces actually finish off the look. The release date on these shoes was September 21st and they retailed for $795. So that's a pretty high price tag. So on StockX we checked out the triple white colorway and the average resale for those was $1,000 to $1,300 on these shoes. Dude, I can pull them off, oh, but I kind of like this color. I'm not gonna say that they're ugly. They're girl. I mean, would I wear them? No. But do I think they're girl? Not... Hype beast. No, dude. With a certain outfit. I couldn't. No, I can't either. I don't have the money. I think mean, it's not even the money. I think the I'm thing. too big of a guy to be like wear chunky shoes like that. So coming in at number three on our list, uh, we're continuing with that dad shoe, kind of chunky shoe theme. Um, that was kind of a trend of 2017 with the Yeezy Wave Runner 700. These shoes originally didn't do very well with sneakerheads in general, but I definitely think over time people warmed up to them and definitely liked it more than when they initially got released. So they were first seen on elite picture of Kanye just outside of his Calabasas office. So kind of like with the Glenciaga Triple S that we just talked about, these are kind of that chunky orthopedic almost looking like shoe. And the people that got these had to be really patient with these. Uh, they had to spend $300 in the middle of August and they had to wait until November for them to ship out. A lot of people have shipping issues with these shoes. So number four on our list, we have the Supreme Uptempo Collab, also known as the Sub Tempos. These released on April 27th via Supreme and April 29th via Nike. Me and him actually both picked up a pair. I picked up the red and white, he picked up the- I got the gold ones. Yeah. We flipped those as soon as we got them, very shortly after for, I don't even remember. We sold them within $15 of each other. Yeah, I sold mine for, $325. And that means I would have sold mine for like $340 or something like that. They retail for $190 and resell now on StockX. The red and white ones go for the dead stock range actually shows $400 to $900. StockX also says that the gold ones go for $300 to $600. Honestly, I wish I kept my red and white ones for personal. When I first saw them, I initially didn't like them, but they definitely grow on me over time, especially seeing more and more people wear them with different outfits that worked. Originally, I couldn't match them with anything or didn't have any outfits to pull them off with, so after seeing other people with good outfits with the shoes, I'm definitely pretty jealous. We're coming in at number five on our list is gonna be the Nike Air Vapor Max. So these release in February. Retail on them was around 190, and there's not a lot of resale value on these just because it's kind of like a GR Nike release. The only one that kind of has resale value that I can think of off the top of my head is the Off White Vapor Max, uh, which we'll get to later. A lot of new technology went into these shoes, and we won't go too in the depth into these because we got a bunch of shoes to still to go. But the main thing is kind of the standalone outsole of the Air. There's not really anything else like it, and it really makes it nice and cushiony and bouncy. Uh, it gives you kind of that extra step if you're running in them. So next on the list, we have the Yeezy Power Phases. The original white slash cream ones dropped in March and then re-released in June, and then the gray released in December. The black was supposed to release, I think, like a week after the gray, but uh, that got pushed, I think, to January of 2018, so We'll be seeing those here shortly. We are also doing a video on the gray. Um, I picked those up in my size, so I'll be doing an on-foot review and stuff like that too. The 
The issue is retail for 120 and resale is not very high. Um, they're pretty GR. For being 120, these shoes are actually really, really, really good quality. The leather is super smooth and the best I've ever seen on a shoe. And be sure to subscribe so you guys are the first ones to see our uh, power face on foot. I wait, that was so corny. So next up on our list is the Sean Weatherspoon Corduroy Air Max 97s. So if you guys don't know who Sean Weatherspoon is, he's um, kind of like the owner slash the face of uh, the beloved store Round 2. Um, I don't know about you guys, but we watch every single episode right after they come out. So Sean got to design these after he won a contest, which was the Nike Revolution Air design competition. So the upper is a nice corduroy and it's a bunch of different colors. They actually blend really well together. And then on the heel pull tab on the back of the shoe, there's a really subtle VA to LA. If you guys don't know what that means, the original Round 2 store opened in Virginia and then their second store was in LA. I think they just opened a third store in New York. Um, so shout out to Round 2. The so retail on these shoes was 160, but they were super crazy to get. I don't know if you guys saw any videos. The lines were just insane and just mobs. Resale on them is right around like 500 to maybe 700 ish. Um, they were a lot higher when they first released, but it's just people quick selling it and it went down um, now, but it'll probably slide back up eventually. So, for number eight, we have the Cause 4, both the gray and the black. So, this shoe originally released in March and then re released via lottery in, I think, April. And that was the gray one, not the black one. And these Cause retail for 350 And then the black pair actually released on, what was it, Black Friday? Uh, it's Cyber Monday, November Cyber Monday. 27th, I believe. If you guys haven't checked out our review on the black version, go ahead and check that out as well. So the dead stock resale range for the gray was $1,150 to $1,250, and on the black originally resold for around $1,600, but that's dropped a lot since they originally came out. Um, now they roughly resell for around $800. So coming in at number nine is the Chanel slash Adidas slash Pharrell Human Race. The price on these was $1,160. All right, so these released on November 21st with a court bailiff hosting the proceedings. Uh, and also they released at a pop-up shop in Paris. Uh, there's not really very much to say about these shoes if you guys are familiar with the Human Race models. Um, you're kind of used to the crazy and wacky colors, but these are very just monotone, black and white, just kind of like a Chanel style, just kind of uh, just a modern and sleek. Uh, and then average resale on these shoes uh, is around 11,800. So it's, they're crazy, um, exclusive, limited, hard to come up and get them too. So closing out at number 10 is D10 by Virgil Abloh. So these 10 consisted of 10 shoes. Um, the first being the Air Jordan 1, the Nike Air Max 90, the Nike Air Force 1, the Vapor Max, Hyper Dunk, Zoom Vaporfly, Chuck Taylor, Blazer, Air Max 97, and my favorite, the Air Presto. So I'm not gonna go through the resale on all these shoes. Um, I just know that the Zoom, I believe, are the lowest, and you can get those for around 400. And then I think, what, the Jordan 1s are like the highest, yeah, that's somewhere sure. around 2,000, I think. So Virgil went through and basically picked some like most iconic shoes and did his off-white collab with them. Um, personally, I think it's one of the best collabs of the year. Or the best, almost. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think is the best out of the 10. Um, also, let us know what you think were the favorite out of the 10 out of our list. All right, thank you guys for watching the video of our top 10 sneakers of 2017. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like and comment. Um, we're gonna respond to every single comment, so let us know what you thought about our list. Maybe if you, we should have added one, subtracted one, or if you guys just liked our list, let us know and we'd love to respond to you. Um, if you like more and see any of our other videos, please subscribe as well. Thank you for watching.